In this video, I will share the 7 trends that are shaping the future of sales. Continue to watch the highlights from the insights into buying and selling that can help your sales organization prepare for the future, which is coming at us faster every day. Let's get started. The first trend is virtual selling is good for sellers and even better for buyers. Virtual selling is now the norm. The COVID-19 pandemic directly accelerated the digital adoption of using virtual selling and replaced the traditional in-person event, the business trade or the face-to-face -face meeting. Similarly, buyers have gone removed. I'm pretty sure e-commerce is growing exponentially since 2020 as we forced to switch our behavior to online buying even more. Yes, seller will go back to the face-to-face -face meeting but not remotely close to pre-pandemic levels. In other words, digital transformation is here to stay. The second trend is a bit the extension with the first trend. Sales organization and manager must adjust to a remote working world now. Three of the most common changes of the remote world are measuring sales process and outcomes in different ways, adding new technologies, and instituting new hiring practices. Undeniably, remote work is on the rise and expected will keep on increasing. The transition is more challenging than anticipated, but that's the trend now. Another important advantage is you practically can hire anyone from anywhere. This makes your sales organizations more diversified by bringing more incredible talents. The third trend is sales organizations are preventing sellers from putting buyers first. As soon as the pandemic hit, everything is affected, economic, emotional, and most budget froze entirely. In order to maintain and find a new way for the sales to grow, the buyer first philosophy drove a large part of the final decision. The five principles are learn, then define, share readily, solve, don't sell, deliver value, earn trust. In short, what buyer first means is that entirely of the sales organization is focused on delivering value to customers. Sales job is to take interest and turn to result. That is the job of the sales function. Next is the six sales behavior that are killing deals. Delivering misleading information about product, its price, as char, Not understanding the company and its needs. Not understanding the product or service not understand the competitor's product and services, is affiliated with a brand that the client doesn't trust, cold calling or emailing repeatedly. Here are the factors that are important in influencing the purchase of a product or services. Trust in the brand or product or service, trust in the relationship with the salesperson, price, return on investment, after sales service. Just remember this. Top performing salesperson listen more than they speak on sales calls. I think the points are nothing new, but your salesperson are doing all correctly. The fifth trend is sales technology provides the key pathway to building trust. Overall, virtual selling has driven rapid digital transformation in sales. Early adopters were ready technologically for the sudden move to virtual and now laggers are investing in technology infrastructure to support their salespersons. Top performing salespersons are willing to take the leap of faith and embrace new technology in order to educate and engage with prospects and customers. Salespersons need to change their ways and embrace new technology or face being left behind. The type of tools that are helping sales or professionals close deal is CRM system, sales engagement software, sales intelligence software. The sixth trend is for sales organization, data is more crucial than ever. Here's the interesting part. Do you know, a big portion of sellers say they lost or delay a deal because a key client stakeholder had changed jobs. Data informs every step we take. Predictive analytics can help to identify potential leads, but data is only as good as its source. Besides, the top metric used to measure salesperson performance is activity quantity, customer satisfaction, team quota meet, and then followed by conversion rate. Everybody wants to know data, not about how a salesperson perceives the world, but how are customers responding to what a salesperson did? The last trend are buyers and sellers are ramping up to make use of social media too. The original point is expanding to use their LinkedIn language and tools by changing to more generic ideas about social media in general. 
As virtual selling is here to stay, social media accounts become the access and sources to hunt for new sales in the modern world. For example, if you have a complete LinkedIn profile, the chances of closing a deal digitally are higher. Luckily, LinkedIn is using social selling index to rate your profile. Watch my other videos to know more about SSI. In short, when people are unable to go out and meet with you, they switch to search for your brand, social proof, and review digitally. In summary, COVID-19 has only accelerated the pace of change, making it increasingly important that sales professionals are able to thrive in a world that is full of unknown. Organizing your sales team to take full advantage of the trends will prepare you for a future that is approaching faster every day. Thanks for watching and remember to like this video. See you in the next video.